So we're inside one of my people's cars, and it's a Volkswagen Beetle, and we're going to do the show me questions for the driving test. So I'm just going to run through a couple of the controls. So down here, we've got the controls, we've got the heat one there. So if they say to you, how would you demiss the front and back windows effectively? Well, you would set the front window for demisting. You'd have it on a, a higher temperature, and you'd have the, the fan turned up to demist, and you'd make sure the fans on the side of the car are pointing to, to side windows. And for the rear one, is that one there? You press it for the rear one to, to demist the rear one. And then once it's demisted, you can turn your temperature back down and turn the fans back down. Another one would be um, the, um, the information for the recommended tire pressures. Well, they're in the glove compartment, you've got a manual and you would go to a reliable pressure gauge like a like a petrol station and you've also got here the handbrake so if they ask you how would you check your handbrake it works so you'd have your foot on your brake release the handbrake it would secure you keep the foot on the brake you put it back on it secures itself and then you've got the controls on the other side so i'm just going to come up. carry on so if they say to you how would you know you've got a problem with your anti-lock braking system when you're driving on the road well, on the dashboard, your ABS lights just light up. And if they want you to turn on your headlights to, to check, so you're looking down here, and there's two switches, one's the side lights, one's the headlights. And you see it's come on the dashboard there, turn it off, it's gone, it's gone dim. And um, that's what you do, you turn them on, you go to the front of the car, go to the back of the car, make sure they're all working correctly. If they say to you, uh, can you check to make sure your indicator lights on the front of the car and the back of the car are working, you just lean inside and you press your hazard warning light. And you can hear it clicking away. You can see it on the dashboard clicking away. And you go around the car, check your front indicators, check your back indicators, lean back in, press it off. And then if you wanted to clean your front windows, you pull it towards you, hold it for about three or four seconds. It's not coming at the moment because I've got electrics on. And it'll clean your front windows with the window of the wipers and washers. Just on that second. And then you've got your, your rear fog lights. So going down here again. So you, you'd have your headlights on. And then for your rear fog lights, you pull it out. And that'll put on your rear fog lights. And you use your rear fog lights when visibility is less than 100 meters. So if you want to turn it off again, you push it back in. Obviously your headlights are on that point there. And if you want to take your headlights off, you flick it back off. Okay, so what we'll do now is, um, another question that they might ask you is, how would you check your power steering is working when you're starting the journey? And what you'd be doing then is, as you start a journey, it should be noticeably nice and light. If it's heavy, then it's not working. So you'd be stopping and checking what the problem is. And the same sort of thing with your brakes. How would you check your brakes are working when you're starting a journey? When you start a journey, you should apply pressure to the brakes and the brakes should slow down. The car should slow down. It shouldn't pull to one side. It should be nice and smooth. We've opened the bonnet. Now to open the bonnet in the Volkswagen Beetle, just down here, there's a release switch that you pull. It releases it. Now just go forward. And then for the engine, so if they're going to ask you questions on the engine, they'll ask you to open it. So I'll show you where the release switch is. It's quite easy to open. It's, it's kind of um, nice and smooth, isn't it? Yeah. So down here, you can see, that's where, you're in, that's where your windscreen wash is kept. And on the outside, there's a minimum maximum on it. And then just behind it is your coolant. And on the outside of that, there's a minimum maximum on there. Down here, tucked in down there with a yellow cap, is your brake fluid. And there's a minimum maximum on that. And then just over here, you've got your engine oil, what you fill it up with. And then down here again, you've got your your um, your dipstick, which what you say is you take the dipstick out, you'd wipe it, put the dipstick back in, take it out, and there'd be a maximum minimum on the side of it, tell you where we need to fill it. So that's inside the uh, engine section. And then the last one down there is your minimum tread depth, which has got quite good tyres. It's 1.6 millimetres from the centre of the tyre to the outside of the tyre, and there should be no cuts or bulges. So that's on the Volkswagen Beetle, nice looking car.